stand by the rod of the apostolic i move you forward moving to your destiny the first thing that the prayer that engenders dominion produces is access to the voice of god if god is not speaking into your life you'll be in trouble it is by prayer that divine purposes are born when a man who dominates by prayer is praying one of the things that he catches from the realm is the voice of Yahweh. We have about 16 minutes. I want us to journey. Somebody, you've never prayed to a point where you forget your environment before. You have never prayed that much. In the next seven minutes, you want to pray as if you are alone. Because you want to travel somewhere for the first time. And when you get there, you want to make a declaration over something that has been a mountain in your life. And see how these things work. You want to try it for the first time. And see how things will work. I tell you a story. Some years ago. I think this was about six years ago. The Lord told me. He wanted me to travel around the world. And I laughed. How do you travel from Benue? Who will take you there? Who knows you? There's nobody in my lineage that is even a, a senior pastor. In my immediate family, I'm the first person speaking in tongues. How do you get to travel? And the Lord told me, wait, wait upon, wait upon me. And I went to the place of prayer. And as I was praying, suddenly, I was caught up in a trance. And I saw an eagle that is bigger than a beauty. When this eagle stretches its wings, it will move from one state to another. The eagle was moving from state to state. And as I was praying in this trance, suddenly I saw somebody hanging on the wings of the eagle. And as I remained there, now this vision, it looks as if it was a second. But the vision was becoming clearer and clearer as though they were zooming in. They were zooming in. At first I saw the eagle. I noticed that it was moving from state to state. And then I saw somebody hanging on the wings. And as I stayed there, after a while, I now discovered I was the one hanging on the wings. If I stopped, it would have just been the mystery of the flying eagle. But as I kept pressing, God zeroed in. The moment I saw myself, it became my reality. And I will wake up every day, invitation from everywhere, come and preach. What, what am I saying? I realize it's not about the message. Any reality you touch in the spirit becomes your reality in the natural. This is why men journey. I don't know where you are currently. You may be in a pit, but your destiny is to pull men out of the pit. You may be sick, but your destiny is to heal others. What can you see? What you can see is a function of where you can travel to. You want to travel for the next five minutes and pray for getting everybody and say, today, I want to handle it. John said that which we have heard, we have seen, we have handled, we commit to you. I don't know what you are looking for, but in the next five minutes, you want to pray in the Holy Ghost. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Listen, the first order of the supernatural is transition. You are activated by prayer to attain height. The second order of the supernatural is transformation. You achieve it by walking in the light of the world. The third order, which is the major foundation of the supernatural, is the life of God. If you don't have eternal life, everything we have shared here will be a story that will never be accomplished in your life. I didn't have time to teach on it, to dwell on it. But listen, all you need to do tonight is to believe in your heart and to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's all it takes. You may be going to church. You may have been born into a Christian home. It doesn't mean you have the life of God. If you have the life of God, relationship will be activated. And so in the next two minutes, you are here. You are not sure of your stand with God. You are not sure of your relationship with God. And you want to use this opportunity quickly tonight. To receive that life and to awaken that relationship. 
If you are in this auditorium, can you please place your hand on your chest quickly? Those of you at the various overflows, please hear me. Those of you at the various overflows, you want to make this decision. Wherever it is you are, can you please stand? Please stand. Everybody can be seated for one minute. Just be seated. You are not sure of your relationship with Jesus. You want to make things right with Christ. You want to receive the life of God. Wherever you are, he said, if you are not ashamed of me before men, I will not be ashamed of you before my heavenly father and his holy angel. Stand up to your feet wherever you are now. You want to receive Jesus. You want to, re to, to build your relationship with him. I want to see those who are standing. Can you wave at me if you are standing? You are standing. I want to be sure that we have them. You are standing. Quickly, take your bag, take your Bible and walk up to the front fast. You are making the best decision of your life. If you are in the overflow, walk to the front of the screen. Quickly. Quickly. Encourage them. Clap for them. Clap for them. This is the best decision of their lives. Praise God. You have made the best decision of your life. I assure you. Wow, they are still coming. Yes, come on. Be fast. Be fast. We'll wait for the last person. Be fast. Can you clap hands for Jesus? People don't make this decision because they are reasonable. They make this decision because it is revealed to them. Can you imagine? We give God praise. Hallelujah. If it were for you alone, this conference is worth it. Yes. This is the best thing happening in this conference. Congratulations on this great decision you have made. Church, can you celebrate them? I see people in front of the screens, even in the overflows. You will just say this prayer with me, if you believe it with all your heart. All you need to believe is to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins, He was buried, and after three days He rose again so that you will not be condemned and so that you can receive this life. If you believe these truths, then you need to confess with your mouth and say, Jesus, be the Lord of my life. Can I lead you to make that prayer? You believe what I've said? Say, dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all my heart that Jesus is your son. He died for my sins. He was buried and he rose again on the third day for my justification. I confess with my mouth today that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I belong to the family of God. Thank you, Father, for receiving me. In Jesus' precious name, I have declared. May the Lord keep you and preserve you. May the yoke of sin be broken for you, from your life. May the shield of God surround you for preservation. May the wisdom of God and the light of his countenance guide you. May none of your steps slide. And may you walk perpetually in the house of God. Enjoying of the blessings.